Hello guys, hope you're doing well and in this video we are going to talk about a cloud drive which I recently purchased and this cloud drive is from Western Digital and it's called the MyCloud Home. It's a 4 terabyte hard drive, great for backup, great for storing your data and great for connecting your mobile phone to this drive and all your devices in your home. Now let's run through the packaging a little bit. On the front it gives you the shape of the drive, on the left it's nothing, on the rear it just gives you a picture over here to show you that how you can connect the drive. So basically this drive can connect directly to your router, it can connect to your mobile phone through the network. Now just to let you know this drive is not a Wi-Fi drive, right? You need an Ethernet connection to connect it to the router so that all the devices can sync through it. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So the first thing we get is a card and over here you have a serial number. All you need to do is you need to type in mycloud.com slash hello into your mobile device and then you can set it up. Then you have the drive. So this drive is a bit heavy but it can be nicely and neatly placed on the desktop because it's got these rubberized feet on the bottom you have the serial number, you can look at the circuit board inside and of course there's a hard drive inside. Um, people might argue that you can just buy a hard drive and you can even use it as an external drive. Yes you can, but these drives are built purpose built for, this, for, for storing your data in a more efficient way. On the rear you have the Ethernet port, you have a fast USB port and you have the power port. And it says over here My Cloud Home. Looks very neat on the desk if you want to keep it. Silver pattern on the bottom, white plain material on the top, and vents on the top and vents on the bottom as well. Apart from that, you get an RJ45 patch cable, very neatly built, as you can see over here. And we get a power adapter with the UK plug and the EU or the US plug. So guys, what we'll do is we'll basically go and install this drive and I'll use the mobile app and show you how to actually connect and what would be the first interface as you will look. Now, just to let you know a little bit about this drive, the technical specifications is that it's a four terabyte hard drive. It's a high speed hard drive and it's used for storing data continuously, continuously. And that's what you need in a backup drive, right? So let's go ahead and connect this drive. So guys, as soon as I plug the drive, the drive turns on and this light over here, this line over here, it lights up and it's a white light. So the white solid light means that it's basically, it started up and it's going to connect. So guys, I have my mobile phone over here and all I need to do is I need to type in mycloud.com slash hello as it shows up over here. And we accept the cookies and it'll say, first let's create an account with your email. So as soon as you create an account, uh, it should basically look up your MyCloud devices which are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So as you can see over here that it says, here's what we found, connect to your device and the MyCloud home and all you can do is you can just simply go and hit uh, connect. Let me just uh, zoom in for you guys a little bit. Yes, this is a brand new device. Reset my cloud home to factory settings continue reset my cloud settings so then it says uh, check the light if it's solid or if it's blinking white in my case it's a solid uh, light and it says looking for my cloud home and then it'll say uh, it gives you this option for this app which you can download you can manage it from there and then you can uh, click connect and then it just go takes you through the same process I've already set it up the device has already been set up and what you can do is you can download the app. So I'm going to just download the app quickly. So once when you downloaded the app, just click open, allow, and then it'll say welcome to the cloud, agree. Okay, and then you need to sign on to your account, right? So here I'll put in my uh, username and the password. It's my email address. Basically, it'll give you some options over here. You can add up a dark mode and uh, you, you know, it just gives you that there's a new firmware. So basically the firmware has been installed and it just gives you how the options are over here. You have your files and folders would look like this in dark mode and then you have your mosaic view in your photos tab and you can see all updates as well. So I don't want to do that. So what I can do is I can add my photos, I can go into files and folders and of course I, if I need to create an album I can even do that. So the app is really handy 
if you want to uh, basically use the app and you can do the automatic backup and you can even you know you can it's it's very nice so all you need to do is once you have this installed in your home you just need to click automatic uh, backups uh, on so you can uh, you know if you click automatic backups it'll ask you to allow access to photos and we just click don't allow it this time because I don't want to set it up. What that would mean is that that would uh, start backing up your files and folders and your photos automatically to this uh, cloud drive. So it's very simple. It's very intuitive. And same goes with your computers and the, the, the stuff that you have in your home. If you want to connect your PC or your MacBook or any other device or your iPad and if you want to back it up to a central device just as a backup not that everybody can access it but just as a backup so that you can view it and then you can restore from then that backup then this western digital um, cloud drive is one of the best option it's called the my cloud home and i would highly recommend you guys if you are looking for a backup drive then definitely this is a brilliant option it's a wonderful drive if you're looking for an all-in-one solution very quick to set up no fuss at all then get the my cloud home drive i would really recommend it all right guys if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below and i'll reply back to you thanks for watching my video and bye for now